Okay, so recently, Katara Tomy has announced some crazy news for Beyblade X. Aren't talking about a whole new code name, three new evolutions, and tons of new Beyblade parts. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a big review on all of the new things that Katara Tomy has announced, and we're also going to be seeing how good they might be and how good they might not be by the looks of them. Let's get into this video. So for the first part of information we have right now, it is a brand new code name. What this basically means is instead of it being BX, it'll be UX. On the Beyblade X product boxes, we'd actually have something called BX, and let's say it was BX18. That would mean that it would be the 18th release from Beyblade X Season 1. Now, it's going to be switched to UX, which I don't really know what it stands for at this point in time, but it's actually pretty interesting because we're actually getting a new wave of base too. Speaking of new waves of Beyblades, we're getting a new drawn Beyblade. So far in the previous Beyblade releases, we've had drawn sword and drawn dagger. But now, we are going to get drawn buster. And guys, the combo for this is Drawn Buster 160A. They haven't really released on what the A would stand for at this point, but if you take a look at the picture, Drawn Buster looks absolutely so cool. It's like a sword shape, kind of reminds me of Excalibur from Beyblade Burst, because of that one big point in the center. But then, if you also look at the icon in the middle, it shows the drawn avatar with fire coming out of its mouth, which actually looks really, really cool. Now, this is actually pretty interesting too, because this might actually go a little bit off balance. As the ratchet is 160, it'll only have one point. So, this is kind of like a one-hit KO kind of thing, but since it only has one point and not like three or four like the other ones, it could be a little off balance, but that's pretty much the only drawback I can see for Drawn Buster at this point. For the next wave of Beyblades we have, it is Hell's Hammer 370H. So guys, in my opinion, this is probably the most questionable one that we are going to be looking at in this video because of the plastic around it. As you can see, Hell's Hammer is kind of like a triangular shape kind of design as a balance type but there's also three plastic tabs sticking out now my question is will these actually break off easily because it kind of looks like they're exposed to attack as well and if it does break off will it also be off balance maybe like how drawn buster might be as well Besides that though, this actually looks really really cool and the three points that connect to the icon are actually plastic with these new UX Beyblades. The icon in the middle looks pretty cool. I think I like Hell's Chain's icon a little bit more but this one is still pretty cool as well. And finally, for the last UX Beyblade we have here, it is going to be a new wave to Wizard Arrow. We have Wizard Rod. And guys, this one is actually pretty interesting, but in a kind of in a different way. As you can see, there are five cutouts in the shape of this Beyblade, and there's also five little dots or circles between each point and angle of this bay. It looks like the icon too has the wizard avatar putting its hand out as well. Now, the cool thing about this Beyblade though is that it's not completely a circular shape it does have some jagged edges towards the top and bottom and throughout this design the cutouts too might actually be able to have more stamina than wizard arrow i guess we'll just have to see but all three of these ux beyblades look really really good and the combo here for wizard rod is going to be 570 db so, we have seen the Ratchet starting with 5 in a couple other Beyblades like Leon Claw and Hell's Chain before, 
And the five starting Ratchet actually is very, very good, especially for having stability and nice stamina. So at least we know that Wizard Rod will be stable. And that is going to wrap up this Beyblade video. Please let me know what you think of the new UX code and UX Beyblades in the comment section below. So with that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this Beyblade video. If you did, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like. Definitely don't forget to turn on that notification bell. And with that, guys, I'll see you in the next Beyblade video. Bye, guys!